Hi everybody, Big Nate here again. I've started the next phase of the project. I got the solenoid driver working and I actually have a rudimentary system for testing out the pulse width of the solenoid for functionality. Um, after a bunch of math and looking up data sheets, I think I found the sweet spot for this 35A MAC valve and what it likes for pulse width modulation. And uh, I am just about ready to start implementing a PID controller on the master project and uh, should be ready to start putting on a solder board and putting a temporary enclosure around it and getting it wired into a car for testing. Um, and that brings me to a question I'm sure some people might have is why am I doing this? Why don't I just go out and buy one? There's a bunch of different solutions out there. There's the eBoost, the Haltech stuff. There's the really high dollar stuff. And then there's also a couple low dollar stuff that is about the same as a good manual boost controller. Um, but all they are doing is pulsing the, the solenoid and sometimes they act as a gauge as well. Um, my project, I'm looking for something that doesn't have unnecessary bells and whistles. Um, maybe someday in the future, if this is successful, I'll do a more pro version. But what I'm really looking for is something in the $100 to $150 range retail that has closed loop PID control of a MAC valve using a OEM uh, map pressure sensor that you just tie into. Uh, no, no boost by gear, no boost by RPM, uh, although that's something that can be implemented. Uh, I am planning on making a AFR um, safety uh, circuit so that you can read a wide band and if you get too lean or too rich, it will uh, dump the boost. Uh, just like how there's already an over boost in the program that I'm writing right now. Um, Oh, what else? Oh, um, and I want it to also be a um, meth injection controller. Um, that's another thing I was looking at, and the controllers out there are pretty simple. Um, they're essentially similar to controlling a MAC valve as far as you can uh, pulse with modulate the, the pump, if it's a PWM pump, or on a lot of systems, it's just simply uh, tripping a relay to turn a pump on and to turn a solenoid on for the uh, meth injection. Um, so I want to incorporate that as well. Um, so without any further ado, let me show you how the solenoid driver works and uh, give you a little rundown of uh, the functionality of the valve. All right, here we are ready for the next installment of this project um, here is the breadboard I have the uh, the control circuit laid out for driving the solenoid valve the Mac valve uh, which I got right here um, as you can see it's got a MOSFET right here a resistor a diode and then it is wired into a pulse width modulation pin on the Arduino. The valve is wired one side into the collector on the MOSFET. The other side is into the 12 volt source, which actually is down to about 10 and a half right now. Um, I'm using a uh, battery pack uh, that I've used on other projects just uses a bunch of double-A batteries um, when it is fully uh, fresh and charged it, it does um, more than 12 volts but uh, as of now it's about 10 and a half but still plenty for it to uh, work properly within the range that I'm asking it to work in um, you can see that that 12 volts goes into its own power rail and then back into the common ground. I have everything else working on five volt logic. Um, and uh, 
let's take a look at the valve itself. You can see here, this is a, a three-point MAC valve. It's a 35A series. Um, right now, uh, the normally open, it goes from two to three. Uh, when it is pulsed, it closes two to one, um, and then open and closed. Uh, if I were to just do a uh, digital right high, it would uh, just stay um, two to one. Uh, digital right low it would be two to three, but I'm doing pulse width modulation, so it varies back and forth between the two. Um, I had to do some um, coding on the Arduino to make sure that I get to about 30 hertz. I uh, would like to get it lower than 30 hertz. Um, I will in the future, but right now for my purposes, 30 is fine. Um, I noticed that a lot of other manufacturers control theirs at 30 hertz as well. Um, I also know why um, 15 would be better. There's not a whole lot of resolution between fully open and fully closed at 30 hertz with the response times that are listed on the manufacturer's website for this valve. Um, I did my own uh, guess and check testing, uh, made a spreadsheet, and actually came up with uh, some uh, duty cycle ranges that uh, work fairly well and consi consistently with this. I uh, still need to, to find all the ranges that uh, uh, max and min, but I, I pretty much have a good working range that if I were to plug it into a PID controller, uh, it, it would work just fine to uh, modulate the, the pressure we're looking for at the top of the waste gate. <clears throat> so for this test, I'm going to take our MAC valve. I'm going to plug it into our reference pressure line, which is the same tank and pressure regulator I've been using before. All right. uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this whole everything over this way. So we're only looking and working with this. So as I apply pressure to it, and it's not energized right now, It is sending pressure out of port three, which as the schematic shows, is what it should be doing. It should be going from port one to port three. Or am I doing that backwards? It should be going from port two to port three um, without any energy being applied. Uh, right now my regulator says we're at about five PSI and that's plenty because it just gets noisier from here. So. Now, if I keep that plugged and I turn on the controller so that it is pulsing, you see now we're getting air out of the opposite port. We're still getting air out of this port as well. I can then increase the duty cycle and now we're getting much less out of this port much more in this port and then if I increase the duty cycle to what is essentially 100% duty cycle we're getting nothing but air out of here and no air out of here again minimum duty cycle a lot of air out of here, a little bit of air out of here, about 50% duty cycle, pretty even between the two, and 100% duty cycle, nothing, and all of it. And then at 0% duty cycle, the other way around. Got all of it out of here, none of it out of here. Now we can go ahead and turn our air source off. 
end. That is how the Mac valve solenoid works with pulse width modulation. Because, you know, the reality is, is that not a lot of us have a lot of money, but we want to go fast. We want to push the limits, um, make do with what we have and make it as, as good as we can f without breaking the bank and becoming homeless. Um, in my case, I just had a conversation with a friend about rules for a uh, local heads up racing class and a bunch of people were hating on him for being white trash and being a pizza delivery guy and being poor. Uh, he runs a pizza shop. He's not a pizza delivery guy for one thing. But I think that uh, some people have lost the sight of this being a, a hobby for fun and enjoyment and are making it into this giant dick measuring contest um, maybe f to take care of their own insecurities. Um, sure, you might have a fast car. Uh, it's probably a really expensive car. Uh, that's not going to necessarily get you the, the respect you're looking for. Um, for me, it's always been the personal journey of learning new things, trying new things, uh, and doing it all on my own. And being able to sit back at the end of the day and say, you know, I did that. that that's me. Um, sure, there's mistakes being made. Uh, my combo I'm building right now on my cut list is, is not correct. It's a 60 over 6 liter, so the walls are thin. Uh, it's almost 12 to 1 compression, so making it run on pump gas is going to be a nightmare. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to make my own controller. I'm going to run meth. Um, as you can see through these videos, I have a fairly thorough understanding of what I'm doing, but I may not have all the money in the world to do what guys racing with their checkbooks can do. Um, so I'm trying to make it, it, it count where I can. Um, in the meantime, I hope that what effort I put into this controller gets passed on to fellow racers. Um, if I bring something to market, uh, it's not guaranteed right now, but I'm definitely marching in that direction. So uh, just follow along and see if I'm successful or see if I break stuff. And uh, I'm going to try to have fun along the way. All right, guys, that's that video there. Um, sorry if it's a little bit boring. It's not your normal car stuff. It's pretty nerdy, uh, but it is going to be something that I think that a lot of people are going to enjoy when I'm all finished with it. Uh, I'm going to get it all nice and polished up and uh, you'll see more of it. So thanks. Uh, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff if you want to. If not, oh well, I'm just here to share some knowledge. Thanks.